What's up guys, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda 4 Sword. So in the last episode we beat level 4, we started level 5, and uh, today we're going to go ahead and just finish up level 5. So part 2 in level 5 is Kakariko Village, and then after that is the the temple. And the temple is actually quite long, so um, I have to finish up this level really quick, or we could be looking at a 4 minute video here, so that wouldn't be uh, too good you know, for you or for me. <laughs> So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, enter. This is Kakariko Village, like I said. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, enter this house. We're going to go ahead and talk to this old man. Darling, what will I ever do without you? Alright, so he's sad of something. I assume his wife. At least I hope so. Dearest, we've been married for 56 years now, and you've always been so good to me after I'm gone. Please don't let yourself be too sad for too long. If you get too long, you get yourself a cute cuckoo as a pet. If you do, perhaps you'll be able to forget some of your sorrow. Goodbye, old timer. We'll meet again one day. So, uh, yeah, that's the first thing on our list today. We have to go find a cuckoo for an old man that we don't even know. But that is pretty easy because Kakariko Village is filled with cuckoos. And look at that. Shadow Links. There you go, two. So they will drop 240 gems. So you can easily pick up 240 gems really quick. And hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you another cool thing. Under this rock, you can pick up 150, 100. Ooh, damn it. Damn you, force gem. Okay, there, there, that's another 100. Ah, you dummy, that force gem left us. So yeah, 500 force gems, not too bad. Um, but uh, the thing actually, the cool thing about this level is, uh, they give you way too many force gems. They're actually really generous at force gem and with force gems in this level, so you won't have to worry about it. I can actually not pick up a single force gem right now, and by the end of the level, I'll pick up the 2,000 force gems. They won't, there won't be like 2,000 or uh, two big 1,000 force gems, but at the very end, they're really generous with force gems. So, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just go down this path. It's supposed to be like a maze thing, kind of like uh, the thing that um, that we ran through in level or in Death Mountain, actually, where you have to just run up. But this one, you just go down to wherever you spawned at. So, if you like, you just fall down in the holes, keep going into the, the direction where the hole landed you in. So go ahead and blow up that, and uh, you won't be able to cat catch Shadowlink, but if you go into this chest, you'll find uh, 200 force gems. And uh, if you notice, that, that chest is open, like many other uh, houses, they have like open chests. The reason for that is because there are thieves in the village, so what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to have to go ahead and find these so-called thieves, or yeah, these thieves, just because... That's the only way out of Kakariko Village now, because Kakariko Village will, um... Because if we can't, we won't be able to go to the temple. And we are locked in Kakariko Village just because of the thieves, because they put a gate around it. Alright, so go ahead and, uh, enter that room. After you get the key, you will find 100 or 200 forest gems. I don't even know, it's a blue forest gem, I don't know how much, 150 I guess. And then a, uh, power bracelet. So the power bracelet allows us to pick up things so what you're gonna do is here is a thief he, uh, there's uh, actually four different kinds because all thieves come in many different in different shapes and colors so you can go ahead and enter into this room and let me toss you and we will find three fours or three uh, thieves right here so that is easy out of ten that is really easy okay so now we can go ahead and pick up these four shims where that one disappears, come here, okay, good. So that is three right there, and I'll show you another two right here. If you pick up this tree, after you get the power bracelet, you can plant a bomb right there, and then you can plant one right here. So thieves actually made hideouts here to hide in after they steal, which is pretty clever, because obviously no thief wants to get caught. But yeah, actually this is a female thief, I believe. I don't know, what do you guys, how did, what does she look, or what does this thing look like to you? A male or a female? So yeah, now there is five. So let's go ahead and find number six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Alright, so if you pick up this tree, um, you should find nothing. Four shims. We'll leave the rest for Tingle to come snatch, cause Tingle, man, we know you got a wife and kid, and, you know, you need four gems to be able to survive, but I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to take this one off your hand. Sorry, man. 
maybe better luck next time. Uh, let's go ahead and plant two bombs for the walls. One. Oh, and they both exploded. So here's another thief. A red-headed bandit. Come here with me, thief. You are being put in prison for stealing or thiefing or whatever. Alright, so, um, I'm just trying to think where the other thieves are. Okay, so we have six right now. I know number seven. There's actually two right here. Just falling here. Hello, thief, come with me. We are taking you for a treat. Let's go. So yeah. I'm gonna toss that right there. Alright, so Arkham City. Yeah, that's that's the game I've been playing all day today. Batman Arkham City. That game came out last night. I was actually at GameStop and uh as I was there, or I actually went to Walmart to pick up some things first and stop hitting me, thief. I'm gonna just toss you out here so I can tell my story. And then I'm going to pick up this heart piece, heart container. Alright. So I was at I went I went to GameStop. Aw, the thief is gone back in his house. He's hiding in some lady's house like a freak. Alright. So yeah, I went to a Walmart to pick up some stuff and then GameStop was like across the street. And it was like this is like a uh, Ten, um, and the game comes out like at eleven thirty. That's when they start like giving it out, or they they give it at twelve. But I wanted to be there early just because I thought like, oh maybe like you know twenty thirty people would show up. But I went there and then there was like fifty people waiting in line to get, or a hundred and then like fifty. There was like literally so many people. The GameStop was like filled to the very end with people waiting to get Arkham City. Which is pretty cool, because, you know, I don't feel like they're the only nerd there. So, uh, go ahead and talk to this old man, and, uh, we'll tell you that he dug a pit to catch a thief, and go ahead and enter down here. I don't know how many we got so far. I think it's like nine or eight. A lot higher up. So this is random. Every single time, a lot lower. So it's a little higher up than it's one of you guys. Then it's somewhere here. Alright. Yeah, that was it. And toss you, break these, grab you again, and leave. So I think we got 9 out of 10. So that means there's just one more. But yeah, I thought it was pretty cool that GameStop was filled with people waiting to get Bam in Arkham City. But good thing they had like a copy for a lot of copies, so everybody got to go home with a copy and they were really quick actually at handing them out so let's go and lift this thing up toss that and pick up these four shims alright if you come go in here let's see how many thieves are left we built a fence all you gotta do is there's still one thief left alright so I know where that thief is hello mister thief let me come to your home unpleasantly Okay, I think it's this, this hole. Yep, that was it. Or did we get. Oh no, we didn't. Good. Grab him, and let's leave. Alright, so that is it for all the thieves. Aw oh, man, if I only had the bombs, I'd sit and toss bombs in their faces. But yeah, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and uh, talk to this guy again. And uh, he's going to go ahead and let everything or pull, uh, take down the gates that he had. And so we can go ahead and just collect these four gems here. We need one more four gem to get to that. But you don't have to worry, like I said. They're really generous in this level. And you'll see at the very end, you'll get so many four gems. You'll probably end up with like five, six thousand. If you like collected all the four gems, I probably won't have six thousand. Probably have like four thousand, maybe five thousand, just because I left a lot of four gems. All right, so in here we'll find a chain charm. I don't know what they're doing, in Zelda, or I don't even know if they're like a Zelda enemy. Maybe they are. Not sure. But if you enter up here, oh, never mind. I actually have to go back down. I forgot. We need a fire rod. Okay, so 
so this is gonna be kind of hard. Oh, yep, as I worry, as I knew. Okay, pick that up and uh, watch out for the fire because it does take four gems away from you. And oh, we get the ball. Yes. That's why we should have done the shovel one first. And we are locked in here. Not really though. Are we? No, we're not. But let me go get the bombs quickly. We can actually go get them from here. Because there's like two sets of bomb. Instead of going back to the old man's house. You have to be quick at doing it. Three. I don't know how many floors it is. Four. Five. Alright, that is a pretty deep hole. Pretty deep cave to, uh, to trap people in. But yeah, let's go back. Aw, oh, and the thieves are gone. Just gonna play a little game with them. Toss some bombs over on their faces. Alright. I need to go the opposite way. Ah, damn it. I lost like 100 fortunes right now. So I'm hitting the freaking fire. Okay, toss, put a bomb right there and just wait for it to do its action as that explodes. Alright, we can go ahead and enter up here. Aw, oh, damn it. And then pick up that. So yeah, they were, um, that was a pretty clever trick for them to do. I actually, actually fell in it. Alright, so what you're going to do is go ahead and just toss those two. Uh, Alright, and then it will start raining. And if you, you can actually go ahead and pick up literally every single tree here, and then some of them will give you four gems. If you get, if you did that, then literally you will end up with over 5,000 four gems at the end of the level. So, once you've done that, if you want, you can go ahead and talk to some people in the village. They will have like treasures around, and you can like pick up even more four gems. At first, like when I, when I, when that happened, I thought there was like, you have to have like 5,000 force gems to break the spell, but that wasn't true. But that wasn't it. So right now we have to fight a young shadow, defeat shadow. Right? So let's go ahead and do that. Right. Let's just defeat them. Okay, so we defeated two of them. And then the rest will be hidden in holes. Let's go ahead and shoot that over there. And then put green link. Red Link and then Blue Link. And then we use Purple Rodri to do some action. Some kick ass action. So here's one. Alright, so he's the one that's gonna transform. Please be purple, please be purple, please be purple. Damn it. Damn you. My bad. I actually um, accidentally went up here. And let's go ahead and just trade spots. And you can go. And there's one more after this one. Is she changing colors again? Okay, never mind. He's just like standing there. And then the other one came down, so yeah, that was good. We didn't have to kill the rest of the, or the last one, actually. Alright, so here's what I'm talking about. They're really generous when it comes to this part. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna, let's see how many points, I'll have 2,000, nearly 3k, like 250 off, let's see how much I'll have after that, or after, by the end of this. Alright, jump. They give you a lot. those two. Last time I got them, so I was pretty lucky. Let's jump that way. And there's Octorox in this lake, so yeah, probably gonna have to uh, dive most of the time. 
just to avoid getting hit by an Octo Rock. Alright, so yeah, that is the end of our journey here in this lake. Come on, we can get this one, we can get this one. Nice. So yeah, e e regardless, e even though I skipped the ones with the uh, or 300 Forge Gems, there's actually 150 and then a 100 one. I skipped those and yet, I still ended up with over 4,000. So yeah, my goal was like 4, or no, it was 5,000, but yeah, I missed a lot of Forge Gems. So let's just go ahead and uh, kill this one. sucked into this and obviously after every time we do this that means we're going to uh, get a pendant oh we died didn't even keep track of my health bar right there but well, let's let the force phase do their job and heal us okay. Alright, surprisingly these are like the first uh, first time these guys ever make an appearance are in this game, I believe. Because I've played A Link to the Past, and uh, Link to the Past is a lot like this, and I've never seen them before. But in the next temple that we're going to do right now, actually, they have a lot of similar enemies from A Link to the Past, which does kind of suck because Link to the Past had the hardest and worst enemies ever, so... Attacked with Knight of Hyrule and he gave us the green pendant. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this one. And we're 60 minutes and 17 actually minutes into the vid. So yeah, that gives us about 13 minutes to do the next level. And it is a lot longer than this, which sucks. Because this did take me somewhat, a lot, a little bit of time to do. But I already know what to do in the next dungeon, so it could take us like 20 minutes. Doesn't really matter. That is, uh, that is it for this level. Just go ahead and start the next one, and we can be almost done with level 5. Then level 6. Level 6 is the worst. It's the second worst. Level 5 was the worst to me. I really didn't like it that much. Let's go ahead and click save. Save completed. Or complete. Continue playing. Yes. The Dark World level 5. And then the Deku Scrubs are here. Around your shrine. Hey, why have you come to the Dungeon Temple right here? See Lord Gan Ooh, Ganon. So, Ganon. Um, obviously, that just blew away something. Or gave away something that Ganon is in this game. Yes, yes, he is. I didn't want to say anything, but you guys saw for yourself. Alright, 50. Let's go ahead and see what's here. Another 50. Alright. We got a bow. And, uh, let's go ahead and Alright, and then pick up. Ooh, nice. So if you get like a good kill streak in this game, they will give you a lot of fortune at the end, which is cool. Nice of them to do. Go ahead and exit from here. And obviously you're gonna have to uh, switch his back. Even though there's nothing to that shows you have to switch it. And I wouldn't open that chest because there's like a they trick you. They put a huge ass bomb in here. So yeah, it's basically a trap. Alright. This guy has the key. And down here, we have to exchange our bow for something, I guess. Yep, the hammer. The magical hammer. I knew we had to exchange it for something. I just couldn't remember what it was, because it's been like three weeks since I've played this level. I usually play, I, I beat the game once and that's it. I actually never practice this level, which I usually do, but I end up wasting time. Because I know the game's so well. in there, it's probably like a bomb as well, so yeah, I avoid that. And then, yeah, two chests. Actually, that one didn't have a bomb. That one had something, but yeah, this one's the one with the bomb. But I'm not gonna open that. Alright, go ahead and kill these skulls. And then, place. 
Oh, hey, dude. I was like, I have to go back and get the bomb. Oh, never mind. I didn't even have it. Place that one right there. Wait for another one to uh, come. And put that one. But yeah, um, I actually thought of this cool idea. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a word in the middle of every video from now on. And uh, if you guys can, I just wanted to see like how many viewers are watching, or like how many people watch my videos to like what point. Just, you know, it's kind of like just out of curiosity. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm like curious. So I'm gonna put like. So I'll put like a word in every single video of mine. I'm just gonna say something random, and the first person to message me that word that I said will get a shout out in my next video. So yeah, and I can't push that down. Okay. So the word for this episode, or no, no, I'm gonna put the word somewhere further into the temple. So what, after you've done that, you can actually move the house around. Go ahead and uh, work in here. Stand in cross formation. Just like one slash will do the job. If you go ahead and uh, push these blocks back into their rightful spots, you will get a force frame, which you really don't need. Because they already give you like four after every level. I'm not complaining, I actually, uh, actually like that. But I kind of think it's a bit too much, like, unless you die a billion, jillion times after every level. Okay, um, how do we get it? Okay, we pulled it like that. And push it. Okay, so let's pull it back. side as well. Okay, there. That is done. I'm done. So you're gonna enter this room, use your hammer, and uh, I have to wait for that thing to come back to us. And once it comes back, just let it come towards us. Go this way. And uh, these are like turtle thingies. You have to like hit them on their back before actually doing anything. What did that do? Uh, open the door, okay. So now we have to wait. And now the waiting is over. Now we have to wait again. And that waiting is over. Now we can enter in here. And we can go back into a door we've never entered before. Alright. Okay, so yeah, we can, uh, if they give us hearts, yes. We need full strength before we can proceed on. Alright, so oh yes, that's how I this room. Come this way. Yes. Just let let them break the um these cause they will help you out when after you're done fighting him, because they drop a lot of force gems. Oh yeah, dude. I want I want you to come here. There you go. There you go, good set. Right here, come on. Oh there you go. Come on, go through, go through all that. No. Go through, go through all of that. Okay, good. I think that's good enough. Alright. So yeah, he dropped four gems. Like I said in many episodes before, if you ever are in a situation like this where there's so many four gems that you won't, are you sure that you're not going to be, you're not going to collect them all? Go ahead and uh, go for the big green ones. After that, go for the red ones. And then go for the blue ones, and then the small uh, green ones, because that's how you do it. So you do it, set. All right. Oh, now these are the ones. These are the bad. These are the enemies that I dislike the most, because they're so freaking annoying. Oops, so now we have one in the corner. So yeah. You can't. If you slash them with the sword, nothing will happen. You just have to sit and constantly just uh, try to hit push him off the edge and uh, were we supposed to do something here 
this room, nope, not yet. That's a room we're supposed to save for later. But we're supposed to take this. And we're supposed to go in another room somewhere here. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to put that right there. And then we have to get rid of the slingshot, or the, what did we have? We had the hammer, so this you're gonna actually just hit, the, you're gonna skip one every time you hit one. Start from the very beginning, hit one, then skip the rest. And then you go ahead and pick up your bomb again, or your hammer. Keep saying bomb. Alright. Once you've done that, go ahead and exit from here. And actually, let's go back here, because we can get a nice kill streak by throwing all of these. There's something at the end, I don't know what it is, but we'll see. A heart container. That is good. We need a heart container. Alright. No. Ah, oh, no, are you serious? You have to do that again? Alright, it's my mistake then, I guess, because I left the room. Get the slingshots. Shoot that too. And nope. Sorry, sir. Alright. Okay, so yeah. I broke all of those. And now, obviously, we can see things here, so we're gonna have to just go ahead and just fall right in. Hit these. They look much bigger in the shadow of Dark World. They look like they're actually uh, strong. You actually kind of get imitated from them. Not really, though, but yeah. We'll go ahead and uh, just hit him from behind. Come on, don't put up a fight with me. I know you're not that strong. Aw, oh, he killed me. Some slashing. Apparently, you, you can only kill him from behind. So they like it there. Alright. And how come he didn't drop 140 stars? Is it because he's a head, not the full body? Hit that and exit. Now obviously there is one last one that we have to do, there's like a, another head, it looks like a bat, but it actually isn't, it's a head. And now that, that's over with, we can go back this way and enter, what? What? Oh no, there it is, there's the key. Alright, so the word that I'm going to give you for the video thingy is Guru. If Robert messages me the word Guru in a PM will win the shout out in the next video. Alright, enter into this thingy. And what will we find? Actually no, we don't need we don't need to enter here. Go ahead and just jump off. Okay, so I came to the wrong spot once more. So we need to go to the back to the beginning or the spot that we were just in where we fought the last head because this is apparently where the keyhole is and then enter okay how are we doing on time 28 minutes not too bad okay enter in here all right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to get all of those things lit now obviously we can't because we need special items from a single one. So that's why you are grateful that they give you everything here. Alright. So for this one, you're gonna hold your arrow, let it charge up, and hit that. For this one right here, you can hold that and okay, let's aim it perfect. Okay. And then the next one, what you're gonna have to do, which is the most trickiest one. Actually, gonna have to get the Pegasus boots and exit from here. Oh, into this place. Yeah, let's just go ahead and move that one. All right. So what you're gonna want to do is pick up the boomerang, and uh, hopefully it's not gonna—it's not gonna take me that many tries to do this. 
You actually have to uh, aim it that way. All right, perfect. So yeah, I actually uh, I was doing with slingshot right now. Like I was not working, and then it turns out I have to do with the boomerang. And you don't want to pick up that chest because you will pick up a bomb. But what you're gonna do is enter into this place and go ahead and just hit Shadow Link. Pick up the force gem that he drops and enter in here. And in here is nothing except for two Dekus that are useless for, to us, basically. We really don't need to talk with them. But yeah, go ahead and um, step on these four thingies and then that thing will go down and then you'll pick up a key. But, and then go ahead and bring the key back to the keyhole, but before you do that, go ahead and enter into this place again. Okay, where we need we need a lamp. Maybe a lamp is in this room. Yep, there is a lamp. It's in that room. So go ahead and grab the lamp. And exit from here. Enter into this room right here. Okay, yeah, putting up a fight with us. Obviously, what you're gonna do is close that because that is like obviously the thing that you need to do. It's gonna be, and then once you've done that, um, wait, were we supposed to do that? No, we weren't. You actually want to go open that. Wait, but if you don't, so yeah, go back in here and then exit from here. Exit from that room and let's move quickly. Go back into this room right here. It's just basically you're gonna have to do a lot of the same thing. Oh, we hit we hit Link. Is it worth risking one hundred four gems? Not really, because we're gonna get more at the end. All right. Go ahead and back into this room. And enter up here. One. Four shit. Nice. Five. Okay, that's good. Twenty. Okay, we got two K. We got two thousand finally. And fifty. Alright, so go ahead and light that up. I'm supposed to just light these ones up quick. Before that thing hits on you, and then that thing in the middle will pop down, and at the very end, you find a chest with a key. Go ahead and grab that, and then on the opposite side, at the bottom left-hand corner, you will find the exit to the room. Go ahead and take your key. Oh, damn. Well, at least we could have that. You got something useful out of that. And uh, take your key and go exit back out of this place. And then we're going to go back to the room that we were in many times before. It's actually one of the first rooms we were in. And then enter back into this maze thingy, this cross that looks like an X. And. One of these you have to push one of these. And I believe it's one of these ones. It's that one. Okay, so get ready for combat, because we're gonna fight wizards in here and like treadmills. And then one of them actually steal from you. Because these take a lot of your fortunes away. So, I most likely uh, take out the one that steals your fortune gems because they end up ripping them off by giving you like 900 or 100, even though like, they could take all of your fortune gems and they could just give you 100. So, yeah, you get ripped off badly. Alright. And then grab the key, place. Oh, I can't put it. 
we need to switch the switch switch back into the blue. Okay, we, need no we have nothing to do in here. Exit from here, switch the switch back to blue or red. And then go in here. So, what you're gonna do is actually leave a link right here, and then take the other link, and go over into, just walk over here, and hit that, and then use the green link again, and you can get the rabbit right there, and then use that link, hit that, and then there's supposed to be another two down here. Fuck you, rat. Come on, man. The rat killed me. I can't believe we died from a rat. Like, that's not even possible in real life. Ooh, there's three or four of them. Five, six, seven of the rats here waiting for me. Alright, let's see. There's the last one right there. Okay, so. We need to do something quickly. Hit that and use the other links going here. Pick up these four shims. They're going down. Yeah, so we there's still a lot more in the temple. Oh man, it's gonna take us a while. So this is probably gonna be my longest video yet. Probably almost an hour. Wow. That is crazy. And then push these up here. All you gotta do is just push them and then that, that they will uh, get pushed back or they will actually open. Push the moon pearl here. You can go pick up the four stems, but I'm really not gonna pick them up. Okay, now this room is what frustrates me the most out of everything in this temple because they just make it so darn complicated. Okay, so it's like impossible to hit them because every time you hit them, they like go a different angle than the way like you're slashing. So it's gonna take us a while to get them into the thing. Come on. And then like after these guys, there's like another set of them that you have to fight, and we die. Wow. Come on. <laughs> Hello. I think my thing's a bit low. Oh my god. Okay, finally, and then we can go ahead and hit these ones. I'm not gonna let them come out of here actually. I'm just gonna just. Oh, no, 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 Okay, there. Well, that was faster than I thought it would be. I thought. Probably be longer to kill them, but yeah, we're at the very end. Oh my Jesus! Okay, and turn here, and then we will have a uh, a boss battle against Phantom Ganon. So there's four bombs, but we're supposed to hit the objective is to hit the green And watch out for everything else, because, oh, Jesus, it does take a while, because it gets complicated, because the freaking orbs move anywhere they want. So you have to, like, run to the end of the room and chase it. And then another four games around you, just uh, shooting at you. That's why I say this is the most frustrating world out of all. I hate this world so much. And there are things to up. Especially this dungeon. It's just like really frustrating. Thanks. Oh, Jesus. 
I'm trying to hit him and it's not working. this twice. Good thing it's only twice, because if it was three times, I'd probably kill myself. Okay, so yeah, obviously we couldn't even get one hit, because we had three of those orbs hitting us, and if we move out of position, like I just did right now, to dodge them, the green orb would probably just fade, and it will go away. So what you have to do is take the hit from them. So that yeah, that is that is it for this video. It's um, pretty long, so I'm probably gonna if there was something, yeah, whatever. So yeah, that is a very long video, and we can go ahead and save the maiden and end it for now. Probably I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be the longest video that I have. So yeah, here is the mirror stolen. I'm not gonna even read that. And let's go ahead and save the maiden at last, and we're done. Alrighty, that is basically it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode, which will will start level six, and that is desert, the desert actually. So yeah, it won't be a Zelda game without a desert. So yeah, they're talking about Ganondorf, and I'm sorry, I'm just like skipping through the text just because we are at a very long point in the video. I would read it, but I'm too lazy. So that is basically it, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.